My name is Nat and I am coming to you with a another lock update. Um, I have been locked today for five months and let me tell you it went fast. Um, when I first started this journey I thought everything was going slow and um, you know I still look what I did today. I put a little I found this in my daughter room. I don't even know if I put it on there right, but <laughs> I put it on there for the rubber band. Oh, it is cute. But um, today is five months. Woohoo! Before you know it, it'll be six months. And when I started, I never out. Six months seems so far away. Um,. Nothing has really changed. I'm really not. I don't see that. I'm really locking in the back. It feels like it, but I don't know if that is locking or it's just because I interlock. So in the back, it's more solid or closer to my roots is more solid. But as for the, I still see the braid pattern. And, um, I just, today, I just, um, bobby pin hair over to the side. And I, um, did a retighten about two days ago. So, you see my scalp pretty good. You know. And, and it seemed like, um, around my edges, hair is popping out. So, I don't know what this is I did right here, but... Got that eddy right there. And it just seemed like that was a lot of hair to be out just not doing nothing. So I don't know how what happened, but I, I turned it into a lock. But yeah, as I said, no major changes. Still just using the rose water, um, vitamin E, olive oil. Sometimes I rub coconut oil on my hair. Um, I was washing every week i don't think i need to wash every week but the last time i washed i used conditioner i was not using conditioner in the beginning really because i was so um obsessed with my hair not being too soft and locking and the conditioner actually really did make my hair soft matter of fact i like how soft it made my hair and um there is shrinkage, sh shrinkage, but it doesn't bother me. I'm okay with the sh shrinkage. And um, I'm just still in love with my braid locks, my locks. And I'm enjoying this journey. And I'll be glad when it's just draping all over and long. And can't wait to pull it up in a big ponytail and have it hang. And big ponytail and the bun so I can't wait to do those styles and I'm excited about this summer um well I can just wash anytime and just go and um I have not wanted weave I don't even want that in my head right now or wigs or anything because it's um such freedom I've never had this type of freedom because I've been the wig and the weave and the braid queen um since I was young, very, very young, and I'm just loving this freedom to just get up and go. Tonight, I'll take the bobby pins out of my hair, and I'll just throw on a scarf or bonnet, and go to sleep, wake up in the morning. And usually, I just don't even pin up the sides when I go to work. I don't do anything. This is maybe once or twice a month that I will pin up my sides. And I'm just, okay, I've got the shorter locks around the perimeter. But they are growing. And here's my my two <laughs> faithful. Well, not right there. See that? That's supposed to be over here. But here's my two faithful little bitty ones. That I couldn't even braid it when I first started. I couldn't. Even, I was asking people to braid it for these two for me, and they couldn't. So they are growing and still hanging in there, and. That's about it. Nothing's changed. Let's see what I use. I told you guys that. 
and I spray daily and that's about it nothing's new and I'll keep you posted I've been taking a lot of pictures so I don't know if at my six months or at my year that I'm just gonna do like a, a, a slideshow just with all the pictures from day one all the way to whenever but um yeah I'm enjoying this journey and I love my hair so you guys be blessed. Enjoy the Super Bowl today. And um, this is Nat. God bless.